Bum, 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 bum. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today is an ultimate day at Mondo Mountain. Again, we're at Mondo Mountain, and today I'm going to be reviewing bum, 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 the Scramblers. Man, look how big those things are. They just came in. I mounted them up on some wheels. I tried to put them on the Chevy C10. And that is a no-go, not even close. Uh, doesn't even turn, the body rubs when you're driving forward, not gonna work out. So those are out of the question. Then I try to mount them on the Betty, boom, same thing. Man, they rub real bad in the back, it doesn't let you go forward. So unfortunately, scramblers are not gonna work on a stock vehicle. I'm gonna have to buy myself a deadbolt. I'm just gonna have to, man. What else am I gonna use these tires on? So I'm gonna buy a deadbolt and I'm gonna trim it down and make them fit, boom. But today, I did make them work with a little loop around, a work around. I just put them on the front and I did a body lift using the pins and bing, bada bing, they actually fit. Uh, so I mounted them up and we're gonna give them a test run. This is gonna be my first go around on the course here and we're gonna see how they actually perform. Um, so I've not really uh, had any practice with them. I just mounted them up. Uh, and another good thing, that's what came in the mail. Yes! So I'm gonna figure out which tires I'm gonna put on these suckers and put those on the Chevy C10 because my Jeep is out of, uh, out of commission. I got a motor on order, but it's not here yet. All right, here we go. We're gonna be running these scramblers and see how they perform. All right, right off the get-go. Man, they're super wide. I don't even fit getting through here, so I'm gonna have to creep through because look at that tire hanging off. Man, look at that. Super wide. They're humongous. There we go. All right. All right, come on, creep over, creep over. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, all right, I'm falling off. Let me see if I'm gonna make it. And I made it, all right. Make this turn around. And we're gonna go around to this part of the course, over the rock garden. Absolutely, oh, all right, a little bit of problem. Man, it looks like they're not getting as much grip as the other tires. All right, let's see how they perform getting onto the course. All right, normally, getting up over this first loop right here and cutting into the course, is a little tricky because the tires uh, will scoot you over to the left and they just don't grab enough. These things, look at that. Man, I'm actually riding the outside edge and I have absolutely no problem. So these things are huge in that aspect. I mean, I can get over obstacles. Oh, sorry, went too far. I can get over obstacles. Look at that, absolutely no problem. Look at that drop. Normally this drop down is kind of sketchy. Boom, that one. No problem, get a better angle right there. You see that little drop down? Man, these tires are giving me way more bumper clearance, but my turn angle or my turning radius is super reduced. All right, let me see if I can get out of trouble here. All right, back up. All right, can't turn properly to get up this little obstacle. Here we go. Okay, drop down, front end, drop down. There we go, dropping down, all right. Ah, these things are super wide, freaking huge. All right, looks like I have a little bit of climbing issues with grip. All right, let's see how they work right here on the rock bouncer part of the course. All right, make a few turns. Man, I can tell you right now, bumper clearance. Look at that, I can come straight at this little jump up, no problem. So bumper clearance is way better. Man, look at that, just right up onto the course. All right, I can tell you right now, they're not as grippy as the other tires. Definitely not as grippy as the BFGs or the Falcons, or even the Goodyears. Because look, I'm, I'm having trouble catching grip. Here we go, all right. Let's speed it up so I don't make this video super long. All right, getting up this climb. Let's see how they perform. All right, they do okay. Man, that's where it sucks, that turning radius is just horrible look at that i can't get a good enough turn i gotta adjust my angle all right here's where they're gonna shine right here on these little drop downs they're so big that they have no problem look at that no problem getting onto that ramp onto that bridge i mean and look how cute man it looks like a freaking oh all right maybe they're too big all right i need to pay a little more attention it looks like a freaking tractor coming at me man look how big they are all right go slow mondo Slow it down so you can stay on the course. All right, here we go. All right, and we made it. All right, make this little turn. And let's see how they do on the little descend we have right here. 
and see if we can get these little things to get us down the hill. All right, a little descend here. Doesn't look like I'm gonna, oh, 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 all right. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have any issues and boom. All right, back up the other part of the wavy ramp. Let me get you a better angle right here. All right, normally as soon as I get off this wavy ramp, it's such a big drop for my front end right there. That one that I do flip over. So let's see if this tire, boom, right there. I would normally uh, flip and fall into this little crevice, which you probably can't see because of coloring. But man, look at that. Yep, 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 yep. Make that turn. Oh, spoke too soon. All right, let's try that one more time. Make sure it wasn't me just being lazy on this drive. All right, there we go. Straighten out, turn, straighten out, turn. And we're up. All right, let's see if we can make this little sharp turn back on to the second bridge. And here's where they shine right here. Man, taking this big drop. Oh, look at that. Man, no problem with this big drop. All right, let me go down this little bridge. See if I can make sure to keep my tires on. I'm trying to pay attention and get a good camera angle. And here we go, down through the bridge. Yeah, man, all right. Another part of the course right here where they're gonna actually give us some trouble is this turning, because I gotta make some sharp turns right here. And, oh, oh, ah, yep. Yeah. All right, let's try that one more time. Yeah, these two, these tires are way too big to, to have a good turning radius. But man, they are just crawl over everything. Look at that, all right, I gotta turn this 20 times. Make this turn here. Am I gonna even make it? No. Oh! All right, here we go. All right, that turn right here, coming down here, getting back up, looks like it's kind of tricky because the turning radius, you see I'm catching on that little pole, so. All right, we made that turn. All right, that's where you see giving me trouble and it looks like I'm losing some power because the tires are way bigger and man these do not grip anywhere close to as good as like the BFG all right let me readjust my angle because I'm getting stuck right there all right power up over here all right here's where I'm going to be able to tell the difference man I usually get centered there we go oh there all right another right here this little drop down it usually gets my, my bumper right into the actual, oh, look at that, man. Down and right back up. And all right, let's see how they perform on this other part of the, oh, struggling on here. All right, looks like I'm not able to get enough grip on this little section and make this turn and go past. Ah, oh, we're struggling right there, all right. Yep, doesn't look like these things are gonna give me as much, as much grip as I would get from the BFGs or from the Falcons, because I have no problem. Actually, I haven't had any problem. There we go, there we go. There we go. Might be just a turn, nope, man. All right, could be that I just need to repaint this, but we're gonna blame it on the tires because I can't get any, any grip on the front. There we go. All right, make this, make this turn right here. Oh, all right, let's try that one again. All right, really, really is affecting my turn radius. So I can tell you right now, if your course has a lot of turns, then these are probably not gonna be the tires to go to, as well as if you have a stock vehicle, these are not gonna be the ones to use. <laughs> all right, let's get up the wood bridge. Gotta be a little more careful. They do look like they're a little bit wider than the normal tires. All right, here we go. Oh, try to make that turn too soon. All right, let's see if we can drop down on this last little exit of the bridge. Gotta adjust my angle. And let's see if I can make this little steep drop. I gotta go at it straight. All right, made it. it does feel like, a, all right, here's where we're gonna be able to test the grippiness of these tires. Let's see, am I gonna be able to reverse? Oh, it's struggling. It's sliding, it's sliding. All right, let's try one more time. Let's try that reverse and see how it does. All right, it'll do it, but it looks like I'm having trouble steering while I'm actually going up on the incline. So these definitely are not as good as the BFGs. And one last test is, are they too wide? 
to get through my little exit, which is a real tight fit. And I'll show you how tight of a fit it is right there. And you can see, oh man, they are barely, oh, I don't even think I'm gonna fit. Let me see if I can turn. There we go, all right. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Ah, we made it through and almost at the exit. All right, and we are out. All right, in conclusion, uh, driving a mullet vehicle, man, uh, going up those steep inclines really did affect it. And I don't know if maybe it's just the tires don't have enough grip because I got the Bajas on the back and man, these things feel like super sticky and these do not. They feel more plastic or rubbery. Uh, and I can tell you right now, as far as uh, stiff, these are a little more stiff for the Bajas and these are super soft. So maybe these are gonna be better for sand or something, but riding on my course, yeah, they suck. I'm going back to the BFGs, but I uh, can't wait to get these loaded up onto one of the vehicles and give those a go run. All right, let me know if you have any questions.